Shalom, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kodash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakarium, Shah Yasharala. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. What I said at the beginning is that Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son's true name, and we believe this through our faith that was gifted to us, who name is Yah Hawa. That's the Father, Yah He, how is to be or in existence, by Ha Shem in the name of Yah Hawashai, Yah He Hawashai, Savior, Deliverer of the elect from the nation of Israel at this time. Now, what you're looking at, this is a, a, a image of me. Earlier today at the plantation, you know, moving around, I'm moving around, bouncing around between different uh, towns, different medical buildings. I do move um, sick patients around, you know, for a living. That's my plantation. You know, I hate to see Jake in that way, but I've been doing this for a few years. So I'm a little numb to the situation. But, um, you know, when you have this type of occupation... You know, where you got to see sick people all day. You're moving them from cancer centers to dialysis centers, you know, um, emergency rooms. You know, it, it wears you down. So the Lord keeps a high spirit of joy. He do give me a lot of time to uh, listen to videos, you know, and do some studying. So it's some ups and downs that come with this uh, profession here. But it's a plantation, man. We got them all throughout. The punishment of America for the uh, hopeful elect, and the Lord is about to relieve us from these damn plantations. But uh, I was at a medical building. It was actually the the um, the cancer center in um, in Hackensack, New Jersey, and uh, yeah, I haven't been up here for in about maybe five, six, seven years or whatever. But um, you know, I just took a seat on on, on a random chair. You're gonna see uh, what happened. When I sat down, but before, um, and look at the clock right now, it's uh, 4 14 right now on the clock, man. Um, I'm gonna read this here, and, I, and this is one of my favorite chapters out of the book of Psalms. This is Psalms 51, and um, I never saw the world the way I'm seeing the world now, never thought I would ever see the world like this. I didn't know there was a world behind the world I was living when I was sleeping until the Lord awakens you. And I ain't just talking about knowing that you are Israelite. When he actually tap into that penal gland and he calcifies it and he opens up your spirit, man. And that's what we call the eye salve. When the Lord starts showing you the mysteries, man, the deep, the deep, dark things of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. And that's what the hopeful elect is receiving right now. So the things we see, it's, it's not normal to the ordinary mortal. But those who have the eyes and the ears, this makes all the sense. So when we keep seeing this number, 444, 144, you know, however it goes, box straight, you know, however it comes, when we keep seeing it, we get excited because we know what we want that to be. We know we want to be hopefully part of the 144,000, part of that first fruits, that first crop of men that helped put together the universe that you read about in Genesis 1 with our Lord, Yahweh Shaha Mashiach, man, the first fruits of the nation, you know, the ultimate elect, the angels of planet Earth. So, um, you know, I saw that number in a strange place today, <clears throat> you know, but I'm going to read this here because this is what it, what it requires for the elect to make it out of here. Mercy, man. And that's what those elect men, the 144 men, man, when we say that, that's what we say. We hope to be a part of the 144,000 because those men are here. Somebody got to fulfill those shoes. And it's a wonder why none of the camps are speaking about the 144,000, because obviously those are not the men. Obviously, the Lord has not put that in their mouth for a reason. And there's a reason why that number, that elect is coming out of Great Millstone. Because the Lord is gathering the 144 up under the apostles of Great Millstone, starting with Apostle Tahar, who all four apostles 
possibly, I believe, are part of the 144,000 themselves. The head crew. And the Lord is gathering, and those are the only men bringing the hopeful elect directly to the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So it's very important to know who you're learning from in these days. Uh, this is Psalms 51 and 1. Have mercy upon me, O God, o God which is Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgression. Blessed is the man that the Lord is not imputed, imputed iniquity, man. The Lord is going to relieve the hopeful elect from our sins that we gathered up for hundreds of years and this lifetime. The Lord is going to blot out our transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me against you. You only have our sin and done this evil in thy sight that thou mayest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Meaning, in other words, David was confessing. He was born with a demon. We all born with a demon. And when the Lord brings us into his beautiful understanding, he cleans, he cleans that up. You know, you clear that up. He takes that demon off you. But that demon never goes away. It's always lurking to get back in. And when it finds a way back in, it brings seven more, more mightier than himself. And you're never to make it back. So this is serious business, the position that we hold. And it's slippery. It's slippery and it's narrow. And you can lose it if you're not focused if you're not focused and you don't have a grip and basically the Lord don't have a grip on you, if you're not the elect, the eyes that we walking with, it can slip and all this can mean nothing, nothing. That's extremely scary because what we see is, is unbelievable. You can't even write this in a Hollywood movie properly. What's happening to the hopeful elect at this time and for the Lord to close your eyes and take this away right before the finish line. Man, sixth verse, behold, thou desirest truth in thy inward parts and in thy hidden parts, thou shall make me to know wisdom. The hidden parts that's deep in your soul, man. Deep into your soul. The Lord is near that man that's in those dark sands and those prophecies. Those prophecies are magical, man. We see in the future and beyond. So in the inward parts, thou makest me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart. O Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, and renew a right spirit within me. And that's what we have now. With the unction that we know all things. We have a right, upright spirit, and we're on the right path. And this path that we on, if we remain, ends with salvation. That's where this path ends. That's why the Lord keeps giving us these dreams, visions, showing us these numbers. He's speaking through the heavens. And the Lord speaks through these numbers, man. He does. I think uh, math and truth are the same word in Hebrew. A muff. A muff. So it says, cast me not away. This is the point right here. Psalms 51 and 11. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy ruach or kodash Ruach, we're supposed to be Ruach Kodash. Take not thy Holy Spirit. Take not thy 
Holy Spirit from me. Man. And that's the only way we can see beyond what's in front of us. Because the Lord have gifted us with the Holy Spirit. And the people that can't, they don't have that spirit. And that's a scary thing. Because when you go here to 1 Peter's 1 verse mm, uh, no, it says uh, 1 verse 9 First Peter's one, second Peter's socket one verse nine says, but he that lacketh these things is blind. So without the Holy Spirit, you're blind and cannot see far off. You can't see without the Holy Spirit and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. So these sins are stuck with you. So those without the Holy Spirit can't see a far off, meaning what's in front of them. They can't see past that. But they with the Holy Spirit, we got that eye salve, which goes into the faculties of the mind. We can see the future and beyond. So let this video play. Yeah, we're going to uh, yeah, we go for this other patient. Yeah. Hey, Shalom. Taking all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kahakadash. Double honor to the elders of great millstone to be true, but I keep this good, quick. You know, I'm here at my workplace to just, at, I'm at this medical building and, you know, taking a seat, you know, waiting for some uh, paperwork to come out, you know, um, and I, I was like, come on, you know, I pick up the, <laughs> the button just to sit back, you know, as you can see, up and down, I recline the chair, so, uh, as you can see, I'm in relaxed mode, not thinking anything of it, you know, so, medical facility. People around, and some said, "Look at the back of the, the thing." And I just look at the back and look. You, know, you, see, you see the, you see the, um, the four, four, four. But this, I don't know. That looks like a nine, but the spirit told me that's a one. It's a one, four, four. I mean, just bringing all things. <laughs> so, you know, it's a cool like that. That's you know, that's you know, that's you know, that's you know, that's you know. So. What we living off right now are miracles, man. We're going to need stuff coming directly from the heavens. That's why it's very important when the Lord does stuff like this. Now, I didn't know I was going to sit in that random chair. The person who, who we came up to pick, pick, who we came to pick up, was supposed to be ready, but they wasn't. So we, I was forced to take a seat, and my partner was forced to take a seat, too. And there was, there was a few chairs there. You know, I don't know how many, maybe 10, 15. And it was this one, which was a recliner, the only one in the room. And it was down further, down down the hallway. So I said, let me walk down over here by the, these two guards and just take a seat here. And I, I, I thought it wasn't going to recline. I thought it wasn't going to work, but it did. And it went back. And I crossed my legs. I said, let me sit back for like five minutes until so so I get a call. And I'm as I'm pulling it back, you know, look at the remote, and some say turn it on, turn it on, and then bang, I see those numbers. As we constantly see, and these are these are miracles, these are signs, and this is what the whole four elect gonna be walking by on this day. This is Sirach, thirty six, verse six. Show new signs, and make other strange wonders. And the, the elect is walking on this through the faith. These new signs, which are going to be uh, renewed because the world haven't seen power like this on the right hand side in hundreds of years. Now the Lord is about to show and y'all rot the Zah, unless the Lord is deceiving me, y'all rot the Zah. I hope to be part of that number, that elect, that 144,000, man. 
is the reason why the Lord is doing this to brothers, man. Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy hand and thy right arm that they may set forth thy wondrous works, man. And he going to work that through his right arm, which is our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, man. So Michael about to stand up because Jacob trouble is right around the corner. This war heating up. It's the reason why he's talking about this, 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 this uh, Hamas thing, right? Got signs up. Talking about the big T. You know what I'm talking about? The big T that's about to hit this place in Europe. You know? Things are heating up over there in Ukraine. The MOTB is here. World War Three is all is on. Something big and strange about to happen here. All you're gonna have is these angels working with certain men, breaking that fourth dimension, coming into our dimension, helping us. And the Lord is working on the, the men, the men faith right now. Strengthening your faith because you're gonna need this confidence. You can't walk into Jacob's trouble iffy if the Lord love you or not, or if your sins have been forgiven, or you get carrying a guilt trip. You can't be carrying a guilt trip into this into to this to this trouble we about to come into, man, which is ultimately going to lead to salvation. So don't don't let them sins overweigh you. If we the elect, the Lord has blotted out our transgressions. We're going to trip. We're going to fall. We're going to crawl. But we hold into the blood of Hamashiach. That's how we overcame him. Let me just end it there. The testimony and the blood, man. This is um, Revelations 12. Right. This is um, Revelations 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. If you under that blood, you covered. That's that mercy. That's how we receive this. And by the word of their testimony. And we know the testimony of Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy. And they love not their lives. <laughs> That's this simulation we live here unto the death, which is not going to be death. Some men are going to be martyrs to glorify the name. But we hoping to skip that second death. We ain't going to never die. Giving all praise, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash, Shalom.